here's Julie. Gotta give, something's gotta give, something's gotta give. Ooh. When an irresistible smile such as yours forms an old implacable heart such as mine, don't say no because I insist. Somewhere, somehow, someone's gonna begin. When I'm gone, who knows what the fates have in store? This is still the Julie Andrews Hour and not the musical version of Kung Fu. I'd like to thank Tom Bleeker and his team of karate experts for assisting us. Thank you, Tom. Now, I'd like you to meet my two guests who both hold black belts in singing and dancing. First, Donald O'Connor. And direct from London, the star of the musical version Gone with the Wind, and of course, the star of Mr. Everybody, Rich Little. Julie, watching you do that karate number, <laughs> it looked like you were weaned by Gorgeous George. Oh, really? <laughs> she has the face of Mary Poppins and the hands of Ernie Borgnine. I do? Well, if you think you're tough, you ain't seen nothing yet to understand nothing. I rock stagger once smashed 3,000 pounds of steel with these two hands. My How on earth did you do that? I drove my car into a lamppost. Oh. What would you do, seriously, if the three of us attacked you on a dark night? Oh, um, I don't know. Why don't we try it some night? <laughs> <laughs> Your feet. 
Like State Street, that great street, I just want to say. Every street's a boulevard in old New York. Every street's a highway of your dreams. A thrill to shop on 34th Street or down on Union Square. I like the people you meet on Mulberry Street. Have, Have you ever, ever been, been there? there? Every street's a boulevard in old New York. So, so keep, keep smiling and you. Remember, there's an east side and a west side and uptown and down. That's why I'm proud to be out walking. We'll shout it loud, cause we're proud to be out.
Americans should come here to die. We simply tourists, you can titter and jeer. All we want to say is Lafayette, we are here on the street. You come along with me down the Mississippi. We'll take the boat to the land of dreams, steaming down the river down to New Orleans. Do you hear the beat away down the street? Do you hear the neat little rhythm of the happy dancing feet? Well now, look there, the people are running and look there, they're gonna have a lot of fun. Make way! Cause everybody's coming and gone, the outbreak parade. Hey, boy, you're really gonna celebrate here, back. Listen to the bar and lift your feet, are really gonna propagate when you are marching along. He'd learn to talk like Truman Capote. <laughs> ah, my name is is Johnny Carson. Your your late late night talk host. Ah, stay tuned for the second half of the Julie Andrews show coming up in just 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 a few seconds. Ah, uh, on the second half we've got uh, the Seattle Civic Symphony and Broad Jumping Team, uh, who uh, who will hurt themselves for you by actually. Um, no, by actually flinging themselves on their instruments. Uh, also, also, ten Danish dancing ducks from Denmark will dive into a dangerous dungeon for you. May the show be over before you had a chance to get to the icebox. Notice I said icebox. Uh, also, also, in the second half, we have World War II with the original cast with, with a surprise ending. So, uh, so stay with us and we'll be right... This is Jack, this is Jack, this is Jack. Oh, don't pay any attention to, you know, what, what Johnny said. I'm erasing, I'm erasing the whole thing. Actually, what we have on the second... And I kid you not, this is all... What we have on the second half is uh, Rich Little, you know, that annoying young impersonator. <laughs> I know what I want to tell you. We also have a Frank, a Frank Lesser medley on the second half. So stay with us. We'll be right back after this commercial message, which I wrote and produced. Thank you. God. I'm 
me alive. Come out. Come and get me. Hey, hey, Rich. What's going on? Stand back, sweetheart. I, I wanted you to have no part of this. When I first met you, I, I thought I could stay clean, but... But then they caught up with me, and now you've got to get out where you still have a chance. Yes, I They're to... going to try to pin this rap on you. If I were you, sweetheart, I'd, I'd get yourself a good lawyer. And here, here's one of the best. And I'll try them. Now get going. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I, are you Perry Mason? Why, yes. Oh, it's you, Paul. Oh, I, I'm not Paul, I'm Julie. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I recognize you now. Big Julie, gun to head of the rackets here in the metropolis. Rackets? I, I, I don't even play tennis. I'm sorry I missed that one. Mm. But listen, I never defend known criminals. You're in a lot of trouble, miss. I suggest you go where there is no law. You go to France and join the French Foreign Legion. <laughs> Just one moment. You're not a private. I'm not? No. Why, you're a public <laughs> You certainly are. But you don't understand. I came here to join the Foreign Legion. Don't you know anything? Girls can't join the Foreign Legion. They can't? No. And besides... <laughs> You don't even speak French. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to speak the language and, and, and everything. I'll even get an alien card. I mean, I'll do anything if I could just join the foreign Oh, you're pathetic. Go to your room. <laughs> get an alien card. Your name? Oh, who are you? Well, you can, you can call me Duke. Oh, my goodness me, are you a royalty duke? Well, you, you can call me that. Yes, I just do. Not sure about the size of it. What am I doing here? I'm dizzy. Well, pleased to meet you, dizzy. <laughs> woman has been caught in a cosmic area between reality and fantasy, known as the Twilight Zone. She may never return. She may travel to Tokyo. She may join a convent. Or, perhaps, the Navy. Hmm. Aren't you gonna tell them something? Will you knock it off? I think that's a very, very good idea. Why don't you join the Navy? Well, uh... Which way is that? Um, right over, over there. Thank you. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Is this the Navy? It sure is, ma'am. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Mr. Roberts. How do you do, Mr. Roberts? Do you think I could have a, a glass of water or something? I'm dizzy. Well, I'm sorry, Dizzy. <laughs> the, uh, well, I guess it was Ensign Pulver. He used all the water up watering the captain's palm tree. You got plenty of champagne. I'll go get you some. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. Hang that. out of these. They're not as good as my GF, but they'll do. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, my name is uh, uh, Ensign uh, Pover. Huh? <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm on Broadway in a musical, and my leading lady went and broke her leg. What a fantastic thing to happen. Hey, you'll be terrific in the part. Why don't you get the back of the hotel and get some costumes? What? Come on, move it. You'll be terrific. Let's go. One, two, three, five, two. Oh! I thought I told you to oh. stay away. Now they're coming to get you. Oh. You thought that you were safe. 
What she didn't know was that Laszlo spilled the beans to watch her before Harrington got a plane to Manila. It wasn't long before the DA got wise and passed the Blackbird on to Wilbur. Uh, Wilbur had a tail on him and never made it to Beaumont's apartment. But what you didn't know was that before the fat man had a chance to meet the star of India, Caro had four men waiting at the dock for Jack and the on Harrison, not knowing that Trag had already met with Vance to put the finger on you. Right. I didn't know that. I figure that means at least 20 years for the both of us. It may be a long, long time before we see each other again. As far as I know, I don't think they have uh, co-ed jails. Well, at least we'll always have our memories that we sit rotting in a stinking jail on some rat-infested rock. Oh, Rick, that's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me. You must remember that. A kiss is not just a kiss. A sigh is not just a sigh. A fundamental thing applies. Time. Time. have lost their glitter the winds grow colder and suddenly you're older and all because of the man that got away Songs to 
sing. No bells to ring. No music to remember when. If we didn't have a music man. And tonight, our music man is Frank Lesson. Yes, who gave us Broadway and Hollywood musicals that may never be surpassed. Like guys and dogs. Where's Charlie? How to succeed in business without really trying. I'm Christian Anderson. Matter of fact, neither do I. Then standing on the corner, watching all the girls, watching all the girls, watching all the girls. So I take me down to Main Street And that's where I select my imaginary dish We're only standing on the corner Watching all the girls, watching all the girls Watching all the girls
Amy, for a moment. Once in love with Amy. Always in love with Amy. Never, never fascinated by her. Set your heart on fire to stay. Once in love with Amy. Always in love with Amy. And ever sweetly you romance her Trouble is the answer would be That Amy'd rather stay in love with me Thank you. 
to tell. And though I'm a cobbler, I'd say I tell them rather well. Yes, I tell them rather I would like to thank you all for being here tonight on my show. Julie, it's always a pleasure to dance on your show. Uh, good night. Good night. Thank you. And I'm always happy to sing on your show. Good night. Good night. Thank you very much. What is it? Well, I hope I made a good impression on you tonight. Oh, you certainly did. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I is my friend. 
for every time we meet the time we spend is tender and sweet sweet songs to sing and pretty words to rhyme and memories that cling thanks to And tall hills to climb And mountains of time And then time to go For everything must end I'll see you soon, I know Knowing time is mine Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. For the Julie Andrews Hour, this is Dick Tufel. ABC's Wide World of Entertainment will present a different and gripping mystery each night, Monday through Thursday. On Friday, Al Green, Taj Mahal, and top rock stars will be seen in concert. Pueblo, the dramatic true story of the seizure of a United States ship by North Korea, will be recreated in a two-hour special starring Hal Holbrook. Thursday night at 9, 8 o'clock Central Time on ABC.